it is literally the next day um by the time you guys see this it's probably going to be either a few days or maybe in the next week but this is literally the next day after taking care of the yeah i wasn't pointing right in the camera but i'm, I'm pointing you know it's in the camera looks whatever anyway this is literally the next day after taking care of the front uh part of the wide body now i'm gonna i'm gonna take the risk and try and do the rear as you guys could see all of that rust is starting to build up if you guys saw my car when i first bought it or even look on my instagram as i mentioned in the video before look on my instagram in my highlight section called bodywork you guys will see the bodywork that i did to the quarter panel and because it was all bondo i knew it was eventually going to flash rust again because i didn't weld the whole new quarter in but it's already flash rusting but it, it lasted a, a decent amount of time just a decent amount and it's mainly flash rusting because i didn't do any proper paint protection so but it is what it is it's gonna get cut out for the most part right now and taken care of but my main issue with cutting the quarter you see how the inner looks you see that that's not a good sign pretty much like a lot of this outer layer of what should be metal is bondo and then when cutting the quarter and actually doing the wide body doing any wide body um when doing with the rears because the rear um quarters are dual layered so just cut at the outer layer first and then you have to make slots on the inner layer of metal fold it over and then do tack welds and do all that shit i'm not gonna be able to so i'm gonna pretty much half-ass it and do my own little diy it, it's gonna be a little sketchy because as you see on this side the inner metal is pretty much gone on the passenger side it's honestly still there on this side it's gone so i'm gonna have to try and figure out what i'm gonna do as time goes i have some ideas it, it's probably gonna look a little ghetto but for now it'll it'll do so as far as fitment goes the rear uh before making any customizations lines up a lot better than the fronts um main issue on this side of course i think i mentioned in the first video i'm gonna have to make a cutout pretty much eliminating the rib nut that would go here but i'm gonna have to make a cutout for my gas cap but that's not gonna be too much of a problem unless you know i make it look shitty but for the most part it lines it lines up pretty good and now with the gas cap being on the passenger side now i'm left with this damn hole that i honestly don't really know what i'm gonna do with it but i'll figure it out but again for the most part everything lines up pretty good got it fitted how i want it to be fit and so i just got to drill my holes make my rib nuts and then do my cuts and then see what the hell i'm dealing with on the inside That part sucked. Drilling the holes, fine. Boring out the holes, fine. Doing those rib nuts, I think it's, hold on. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. So 24, because of both sides, 24 rib nuts I had to sit there and install. That shit was annoying. But anyways, got these holes done. I'm not gonna mount it up just yet because I'm 97, 98% sure everything's gonna line up. The next part, which is, the real hassle is making those cutouts this is this is where it gets scary man uh but we'll see how everything goes It's now the next morning last night i pretty much called it quits but i got what i needed to get done done for the most part of course they're still finishing touches but the over fenders are pretty much ready to go on but to elaborate a little bit on what i did so remember i told you guys this side the inner metal pretty much rusted to shit so what i had to do to try and seal up all the open areas was use spray foam all right so 
I cut whatever inner metal that was good and I tried to fold it however I could. I used a shit ton of spray foam, sprayed the shit out of it, let it dry up. What I would have to do next is pretty much just sand it down till it's a little bit more flush. And then what I want to do even after that is seam seal it to protect it from any like water getting in and rusting excessively. Like this isn't going to stop the rust, guaranteed. But it, it'll honestly do for now. And how I know is because I have spray foam on another area that I repaired and it's honestly still holding up. Even through all the shitty weathers, it's still holding up. This side, there was a lot more metal to work with, but that doesn't mean it made the job any easier. It's pretty much took me the same amount amount of time on that side or maybe slightly less but again there you go spray foam i covered up any spots that you really wouldn't want water or anything getting into and yeah i have to sand it down and seam seal it and even honestly add some rocker guard or something something just as much protecting as i can but yeah right now it looks shitty and normally i'd say you know do as I say, not as I do. In this case, I don't want anyone to do neither. Unless you're aware of the risk, you know what's going on, you know this, that, and the third, then you know, go for it. But this this is a this is a little shaky or half-assed job, but I know what I'm doing, so it's not gonna bother me. What does bother me though is that I did not put any I didn't think to do it at first, put bags over the tires at least, because when the spray foam is you know trying to um toughen up some of it might drop and then a little bit got on the wheels and the rims and shit so i'm really gonna have to clean that shit off that's gonna be a bitch. freaking spray foam got on my hands made my hands rough as shit no that's stupid hard to get off but i'll take care of it anyways um i'm literally recording this before going to work so i just want to slap the over fenders on and then see how the final look will look So not final verdict, but almost final verdict because I'm still gonna have to do the cutout for the gas cap. But as far as getting it bolted up and fitted, this honestly does not look too bad at all, at all. But I did have one upset with the driver's side. I went a little too hard on the screw there and chipped off the little corner. So that's annoying. But honestly, this kit already wasn't in 10 out of 10 condition, so I'm trying not to let it bother me as much, but that is annoying. It's also not that noticeable, from afar at least. Um, let's go check out the other side. Again, this is actually fitted pretty, pretty nicely. Of course, my only issue is the fitment now regarding the wheel. And damn, I don't know how fucking big spaces I'm gonna need. Shit. I don't know, I'm gonna have to figure that out. I have spacers, but I don't know if it's gonna be enough for the rear. For the front, yeah, I might have to get a different size for the rear. But yeah, this gas cap area for the BRZs, I don't know what I'm gonna do with it. I'm gonna have to figure something out. Um, but yeah, this is how I'm gonna be racking with it for now. I'm gonna be removing it again probably later on, um, later on today to sand up the spray foam and then seam seal it paint it all of that shit to get some proper um protecting on it and yeah but honestly not too bad let's get a let's get a full side view if i can not too bad at all this actually looks like it was kind of fit for the car yeah well that's it for part two i hope you guys enjoyed the video most likely going to be a part three for the sanding and uh sealing process and then also the um adding the wheel spacers, which I don't honestly really wanna run, but to find um, a good offset wheel right now and all of that to really make it fit without running spacers, that's gonna run me out my pocket a little more than I need it to right now. So I'm just gonna have to deal with the spacers. You know, it's just daily driving, not tracking it yet. And I don't know if I really wanna run spacers on the track. But anyways, yeah, so stay tuned for part three. All right, you guys, like, comment, subscribe. Shit. Am I still holding this garbage, bro?
you guys like comment subscribe share all right follow me on ig dubs daily underscore underscore link is in the description hit that link man give me a follow show some love we're almost at 1k subscribers so hit that subscribe button share my shit all right show some love uh got a shit ton more videos for you guys so you guys already know man stay tuned i'm out